You guys are so polite. Like, do you think we live in igloos? Yeah. Huge. Mosquito. Mosquito. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thanks so much for stopping by. Today I have a very special guest with me, Ciao. my dear friend Zoe, who actually has an amazing channel here on YouTube. And if you have never heard of her or you haven't checked her out, stop at what you're doing and go right now and subscribe because she's amazing oh. and inspirational. So I'm so happy to yes. have her here with me today. Zoe is Canadian, I'm American. I feel like a lot of people think that. Canadian American tomato tomato. It's like the same thing which is so not true getting to know each other It's just evident that Americans are not the same thing as Canadians Canada is actually quite different mm -hmm. a lot of that a lot of cultural even differences too. Yes, whether it's different words that we say or different accents or also different things in our countries mm -hmm. noticed as an American, I say, oh, I have to go to the bathroom. What do you say? Washroom. That sounds so much more polite. It is so much more polite. I know. Because like you're just, you're washing, you're washing up. Yeah. Like the bathroom. Is there a bath in the room always? No. No, but there's always time to wash. <laughs> <laughs> we always wash our hands, you know? That's true. Oh, well, we also say restrooms. Yeah, we say mostly washrooms. Really? Okay. Yeah, washrooms will be like, look, yeah. Okay, what is the hat that you wear in the winter? Toques. It's a toque. I think we call it a beanie. I've never heard of a, a toque. toque. It's a French Canadian. Do you, oh, okay. Do you have you heard or do you use beanies? We've heard. I've heard of beanies. Okay, but but we always say toques. But what's up with the a? A. I you know I sometimes <laughs> I say a but but more I say hey like if I was to say a sentence like. So could you remember that one day when we were walking down the street, hey? I'd be like, hey. We, I <laughs> added on. Some people use A and some people use hey, I think depending on where you're from in Canada. So what does it mean, like, yeah? It means like saying yeah, or like you know, or okay. like you understand, like hey, A. Okay. I say you know, mm -hmm. so I guess instead of I saying. I say you know too, but, but I definitely do say hey. Like, that was such a good day, hey? Yeah, what? or right, I mean, that was such a good day, right? Yeah, oh, you don't say right. Oh, we Is say it? right. Yeah. I mean, I say right. Any yeah. other Americans out there that say right? <laughs> now I'm questioning myself. You guys are so polite. Yeah? Yes. Good. Like, <laughs> you apologize for everything. You say sorry after like everything. And it's like, it's a fact. I mean, it's, it's, yeah. it's a true fact. So how do you apologize to people? Sorry. Sorry. That's how we say sorry. 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 <laughs> it's a really hard difference. It's so different. Sorry. 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 Cue Justin Bieber. Is out and about like an actual thing? Okay, people say we say a, a boot. A boot. Well, I think we say a boot. A boot. I'm always like, oh, out, out and about, eh? I'm a Canadian. Out and about. Out. Out and out and about. It's very like t out, out and about. I I say out and about. Out and about. Ours is very like uh, out and about. <laughs> I don't know. Uh. <laughs> ah, how do you say the little annoying like insect that bites you when it's like hot? Mosquito. Out? You said you said mosquito <laughs> earlier. Okay, okay. You she said like, mosquito bite. And I, I was like mosquitoes what? because when I was younger we called them mosquitoes. Okay, so that's not a Canadian thing. I think it's just like a Zoe thing. <laughs> I thought it was a Canadian thing, and I was like, wait, what did you call it? Mosquitoes. Okay. What? Oops. I feel like I've heard you say other things. Pasta and pasta. Okay. Yeah, we say pasta. Tomato. Pasta. Tomato. You, you say tomato? Tomatoes. I say tomatoes. Okay. <laughs> All right, well this is now just making us second guess our own language. What about the difference of Thanksgiving? When do you celebrate Thanksgiving? October. October what? <laughs> I think it changes every year. Yeah, it cha yeah. for yeah. us it, it changes every year. It's the last Thursday of November. Okay. And why, like what does your Thanksgiving represent? Why in October? I'm not sure why it's in October, and I think it just has to do with getting together and being thankful with your families. Okay. I know that there's the significance <laughs> with the pilgrims and Christopher Columbus, yeah, the Americans. That's, yeah. that's ours with the, the Native Americans, and 
the turkey, the cutting of the turkey. Yeah. So what do you guys eat for Thanksgiving? So traditionally, I don't eat this, but traditionally it's a turkey and stuffing. You probably have mashed potatoes, yeah. Brussels sprouts, and yeah. Us too. Turkey, I don't eat it either. We both are vegetarians. Yeah. Um, Just like a, a harvest meal. Yeah. Turkey. Squash. Um, squash. Sweet potatoes. Yeah. Um, pie for dessert. Pumpkin like pie? Pumpkin pie. Anything like that. Uh, it's just weird that we ha we eat the same things, but we have it on different days. Yeah, because it, it, to me it's so weird that yours is so close to Christmas when you're already gonna have a huge feast anyways. We like to eat. Like you wake up, you want you know a nice coffee, a good little bre quick breakfast, but you don't have anything at your house in Canada. Where do you go? Most people go to Tim Hortons. It's a very Canadian, but they've changed a lot. They they recently I think have been bought by Burger King. Really. So wow. it's changed. It used to just be bagels, donuts, and coffees, but now it's like sand. It's been changing to sandwiches, parfaits, mini donuts, Timbits, all the now it's like lost its yeah. appeal. We have a lot. We have well, Starbucks mm -hmm. is huge, uh, Dunkin' Donuts, but it's not everywhere. Usually, Dunkin' Donuts is only like in the Northeast, like New England mm -hmm. area. Um, what about Krispy Kreme? Yeah, I don't like Krispy Kreme. Those donuts are like too fake and too yeah. sweet. But yes, Krispy Kreme, mm -hmm. Shipley's, which is I think only in the South. What about your like healthcare? Yeah, we have free healthcare. Yeah. Like anybody and everybody? Like even if you're employed or unemployed? Yes. And how does it, like you walk into the doctor's office? So pay a it depends like, so if you have a job that has benefits, so you might have a job that will give you like say a certain kind of allowance for mm -hmm. things like you, Sometimes your benefits package will have massages. They'll be like chiropractic. Like, so they, what? they encourage you to go get like same massages to use your benefits. Sometimes benefits will cover like all the eye doctor, the chiropractor, like all the different doctors. Well, sometimes now they'll cover like um, energy healing doctors and things like all different types of doctors are now starting to be recognized, I believe. And, um, but it depends what your benefits are like. So there's all different packages. Anyone can go to get healthcare. So like say if you need extensive like work with braces. Mm -hmm. So you'll be covered up to like a certain amount okay. depending on if you're employed, where you're employed, your parents, et cetera, et cetera. But it's still like available for everyone. Wow. And, like no questions asked. If I got rushed to emergency, like they'd fix me up and then, yeah. And a lot of time prescriptions are covered too. All right, all you Americans want to go to Canada. Yeah. In, in the States, eh, well, it, things are changing right now with our current situation, but when I was living in the States, you get benefits insurance through being employed, so usually your company will give you insurance. Mm -hmm. But even if you have insurance and you go have like a checkup or you go to the doctor, you need to pay a copay. If you're unemployed, you can't get insurance unless you, you do like Obamacare, which is um, it's hard and it's not that affordable anymore for families so it's kind of a dark subject I feel. it is a dark not, subject and i want to discuss no and i don't like talking about like politics so mm -hmm. don't open up any yes. <laughs> discussion in the comments <laughs> too canada is huge so you have you don't have states you have uh, provinces, provinces, and provinces and territories okay and in each province or territory are there different accents not i feel like it's not as wide ranging as the US for sure. Mm -hmm. So like we have West Coast, East Coast. On the East Coast, Newfoundland, they have a very specific accent. In Quebec, sometimes people speak French, yes. only French some, some places. But for the rest of Canada, there isn't too much different. There's slang words that are maybe different, but like for the most part, you probably wouldn't be able to tell somebody from Toronto versus Vancouver. And really? they're like pretty much on opposite sides. Wow, yeah, I mean, you can definitely tell from someone like from the Bronx, New York, from like California, uh, or from Alabama to like Wisconsin. We have like an array of, of uh, accents mm -hmm. in, in the US. So. What about TV? What about TV? So is reality, like a reality TV big in Canada? Reality TV is not as big. Not as big. Okay. But like you guys TV. have a lot of networks and a lot of your own shows, right? I feel like Canada has like a few networks that are like Full, fully Canadian and produce like all Canadian shows. Okay. Like you guys have um, no, E Network. Yeah, and E and Bravo. Yeah, you guys have those. And we have like, what are they called? I don't really remember, but there's one, the Home and Garden Channel. Mm -hmm. Wow. 
<laughs> TLC? We have TLC too. Oh. The Learning Channel? No. Okay. Scrub. Food Network? I don't. We have a Food Network. Is it our Food Network? With like it Everyday might. Italian. With Emerald and. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Giada. Ina Garten. Yeah. Okay. This is sad. I don't even. <laughs> You're not even Canadian. We have, much, Italian. We have much music. This is a Canadian. You what? Much music. It's like our MTV. Oh. Um, when you were growing up, like, what were some of the TV programs that you watched? Like, did you have Nickelodeon? So I lived in California for a little bit when I was younger. Oh, I didn't know that. So I watched the Zoo Disney. <laughs> My dream was to be on Zoo. I know Zoo. Oh. No, okay, like, you don't understand. Like, I feel like I didn't really, like, I used to watch Arthur yeah. in Canada. And then all of a sudden I went to the States and I was like, whoa, Disney Channel. Like, we Disney. had the Family Channel, but, like, it would take a couple years for us to get your guys' shows. And, but then Zoo Disney was like mind blowing. All the Disney original series, like, let's watch a Disney Channel movie. <laughs> yeah. oh, and like, they had like some scary ones. Like, are you afraid of the dark? Yeah. Okay. But like the Hollywood Tower Hotel movie, and they had like, Goosebumps. Yeah, basically, it was the cool. It was so cool. What about like Double Dare 2000, Slime? Yeah. All that, okay. Yeah, and Nickelodeon too, like the Madness Show, all that. Yes, okay, so we watch pretty much the same thing. So do you have like a one-stop shop where you go, like for example, in the US we have CVS, Walgreens, Target, where you can literally go and just do all your errands, more or less, in one place. So I'd say Walmart is the place for okay. that. We do Shoppers Drug Mart, but Walmart is the one-stop shop, definitely. Oh, I, well we do have Walmart. So if, as a Canadian, growing up and everything like that, did you have like a negative connotation with Americans? Or what no. do you guys think about us? I loved America and then like what I said when I moved to California, I was like in heaven, you know, Disneyland was a half an hour away. Yeah. The beach, I got to be at the beach on my birthday in December. Like yeah. things like that was amazing. If you're traveling and someone mistakes you for an American because your accents are very similar to ours, are you like, no, I'm Canadian? I think, no, I'm not like that, but I think like it, the only reason why I might get offended is because nobody seems to ever guess that, that I could be a Canadian. Yeah. Like it's like, we're this huge country and Americano. <laughs> like, everyone thinks that I'm American. Yeah. Well, because the accent's like, I, when I'm meeting someone from Canada, unless they're saying, like, sorry, a, like, things like that, I uh, assume that you are just American. Yeah. Like, do you think we live in Igloos? No. You never thought that? Alaska. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm totally kidding. See, because you're so close to us. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like you're such a mystery. Well, thanks so much, so for yeah. spending time and telling us a little bit more about Canada, because, uh, like I mentioned, I, we don't, as Americans, we don't really think about that kind of stuff. <laughs> thanks for having me, though. Uh, of course. And until next time, you will see her very soon on my channel.